What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFalls.com recapping the news and again we got some exclusive news for you guys. A couple more holiday 2024 releases but before I give you the rundown on that like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. We're almost at 162,000 subscribers when I return to YouTube after a short break. We're just over 161,000. I think it was like 161.20. So I actually think before we hit 2024, we're going to be at 162. So big shout out to all you guys who liked the video as well as new and old subscribers. You guys are greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, I did drop the 2024 Air Jordan Release Dates Ultimate Guide. It's an hour and 35 minute long video. If you haven't checked it out yet, there is a link in the description which will take you straight to that video. And when you're there, make sure to drop a like. Now, as far as the highlights in this video, we have the Air Jordan 11 Bread Velvet dropping in Holiday 2024. As well, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Satin Shadow will debut during Holiday 2024. And then we have a couple more shoes from Jordan Brand and one thing from Nike. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. For these videos, as you guys know, I'm just doing most of the highlights. However, I wanted to add something a little bit different to Nike, and today I fully intended on doing that, but after looking around, in my opinion, there just wasn't anything good enough for Nike, with the exception of one shoe, and again, it's a Kobe. I do apologize. I know a lot of you guys like Kobe, so that isn't a problem, but if there was more shoes that I could cover for Nike that are highlight shoes, you know, better shoes than just your regular dunks and stuff like that, then I would include it. But next week I should have more for the Nike section as well. I should be getting information about Nike drops for holiday 2024 soon. As you guys know, we have the Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro Christmas dropping. I did leak that. We went over that shoe already, but I will have more details coming soon on different silhouettes from Nike. So yesterday, new images popped up of the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Mambasita. This will mark the third pair in the Mambasita line to release. First, we had the Kobe 6, and then we had the Kobe 4, and now the Kobe 8. This pair is really different compared to the others. As you can see from the photos, they feature a white base, but they have butterflies with shades of black and gray throughout the upper. In addition, the swoosh on the side is embroidered in gold. And then we have Gigi in her number two on the heels. Also, it looks like we have an all-white outsole and Kobe Shield logo on the tongues. As you guys probably already know, this line pays tribute to Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi Bryant, who both passed away in 2020. Now, as for the release date, this pair is scheduled to debut on May 1st, which is Gigi Bryant's birthday, and they will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at $190, grade school will cost you $120, and preschool sizes retail at $90. I do like this pair, not as much as the Kobe 6. I think that shoe is the best in the line, just in my opinion. But like every Kobe release, this pair is definitely going to sell out. But I do like that they're also offering them in grade school and preschool sizes. Let me know your thoughts on this pair down in the comment section below. Moving on to Jordan Brand and who remembers the Air Jordan 1 High OG Pollen? That shoe released when the Air Jordan 1 still had a lot of hype behind it. And in my opinion, it's a dope colorway. The shoes originally released in 2021, but for those who golf, Jordan Brand is releasing the Air Jordan 1 High Golf Pollen. So the color blocking is on point to the original pair, if you want to call it that. The only exception here is that we have a golf ready outsole featuring a pollen black and white color combination constructed with leather. We have black across the toe panels, ankle, tongue, and within the wings logo. And then we have pollen, a shade of yellow on the overlays, swoosh around the heel and across the outsole. It also accents the branding. And then we have a white midsole. For those who want to grab these, they drop on January 5th and the retail price will be 190. 
Jordan Brand has stated that the Air Jordan 38 is inspired by the Air Jordan 8. And that's a trend that started on the Air Jordan 31, I believe. That shoe was inspired by the 1, the Air Jordan 32 inspired by the 2, and so forth. Now, looks-wise, on the surface, you really can't tell. But according to the brand, the shoes feature an X-plate, which connects to the Air Jordan 8, specifically the straps on the model. Now, recently, they dropped the Aqua Air Jordan 38, which, in my opinion, was the best colorway to release. However, they got another pair coming, and this is the Bugs Bunny Air Jordan 38. Now, do I think this is better than the Aqua? No, but it's definitely up there. And overall, I'm a fan of the Air Jordan 38. I know a lot of people don't like the latest signature shoe, but every shoe from Jordan was once the latest signature shoe, so... I guess it just takes time for them to grow on people. But this pair will feature a white, black, true red, and light graphite color combination. Now, as you can see, we have white across the upper. And connecting to the Air Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny, we have that unique pattern across the midsole and the carpet-like tongue logo. I think these are nice. Like always, let me know your thoughts down below. Now, as for a release date, unfortunately, we don't have one. They are expected to launch spring 2024, which means a release could take place anywhere between January and March. Now, more information will be coming for this pair soon, and the retail price is $200. Alright, now it's time to talk about the exclusive news, and first up is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Satin Shadow. This pair will drop holiday 2024, and I want to say right off the bat... Most of you probably already know this. This is a women's exclusive release. Also, the image you're looking at is simply a mock-up. However, they should look something similar to this, kind of like the Satin Bread Air Jordan 1. We have the embroidered wings logo and satin throughout. Now, the Shadow Air Jordan 1 originally released back in 1985 as a high. That shoe actually dropped several times, but the first time it retroed was in 2009. It was slightly different. It wasn't true to OG form. It featured different materials as well as having a Jumpman on the tongue and heels. And then the Wings logo was grayed out. In 2013, we saw another release. And then the last time they dropped was in 2018. Now, for the first time, they dropped the low top version in 2015. And in 2024, they're going to bring them back. And then Alayli May, she collabed on the Air Jordan 1. Those were originally called Satin Shadow before it was known it was an Alayli May collab. That shoe featured different materials as well as metallic silver accents. So it really wasn't like the Shadow Air Jordan 1 as far as looks. And then lastly, we saw a golf version drop in 2022. Although these are nice, I don't see them doing better than the Satin Bread Air Jordan 1. And those did sit. I'm not sure if they're still sitting. But then again, I haven't looked. Like mentioned, dropping in women's sizing, and this will be part of Jordan Brand's Holiday 2024 collection, which means a release will take place between October and December. Also, the retail price is expected to be 180 although that's not confirmed, but expected. Let me know your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. For the last piece of news for today, we have the Air Jordan 11 Bread Velvet dropping holiday 2024. Now, this is a women's exclusive release, and the photo you're looking at is a mock-up. However, we are expected to get something like this. So, the Air Jordan 11 Bread is an iconic shoe. The pair was originally released back in 1995, and initially they were known as Playoffs, and that is due to the fact of Jordan playing in the Air Jordan 11 Bread, aka Playoffs, during the 95-96 NBA playoffs, and he won his fifth NBA championship. At the time when they dropped, the retail price was 125 Gosh, I wish they were still 125 or still under 200 That would be nice, but fortunately that isn't the case. So we saw the first retro take place in 2001, and then we saw another release in 2008, which was part of the Countdown Pack. That pack featured the Bread Air Jordan 11 and the Taxi Air Jordan 12. Both those two models equal the number 23, which helped celebrate the launch of the Air Jordan 23. The shoes would release again in 2012, this time not in a pack. And then the last time we saw them was in 2019. That shoe came close to OG form. It featured a higher cut patent leather and peaks. 
Now, as you guys know, Jordan Brand likes to add different materials to women's shoes when they take iconic colorways. So, for example, I just talked about the Satin Shadow Air Jordan 1, and now we have Velvet on the Air Jordan 11 bread. So, although I haven't seen the shoes yet, I was told the information, I expect them to resemble the Velvet Night Maroon pair. Some of you guys might remember that. They dropped back in 2016. Instead of patent leather, they'll feature velvet. And then on the upper, we should have new buck and possibly a metal jump man on the ankle. Other than that, the color placement will stay the same. Black on the upper, red hits the jump man across the outsole, and then white on the midsole, two, three on the heel, and hits it on the tongue branding. Now, I know a lot of people don't like it when Jordan Brand takes OG colorways and gives them new materials. For example, the Royal Reimagined. The bread pattern did decent, and I think the only reason why is because the Air Jordan 1 was still really hyped at that time. If they dropped right now, I don't want to say they would sit, but I kind of feel like they would. Not to take away from them, I own them, they're nice, but I think this pair, people are still going to go after them just because it's a classic colorway and it is something different. At the time of recording, I don't know if they will be available in extended women's sizing. And since it's part of Jordan Brand's Holiday 2024 collection, they should drop between October and December. Also, the retail price is expected to be $230 unless Jordan Brand decides later on to bump up the retail price, which I hope they don't. And aside from women's sizing, more than likely they will be available in preschool and toddler sizes. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now, this will be the last video I drop until 2024, which is only a couple days away. So I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. I hope you guys have a good and safe time. If you're with family, if you're out partying, whatever it is, hope you guys are safe. I still have some leaks to drop next week, so be on the lookout for that. Also, I did drop the 2024 Air Jordan Release Dates Ultimate Guide video, which is an hour and 35 minutes long. I dropped that last week, I believe. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description below. As well, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked or disliked in this video down in the comment section below. As well, if you have any questions, leave that down below. I'm also going to respond to all the comments on the last video. A uh, pretty hectic day, but I haven't forgot about it. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.